This video series is based on the Day of Atonement magazine. Link in the description below. This video is on path 5, called Altar of Incense. And he shall go out unto the altar that is before the Lord, and make an atonement for it, and shall take of the blood of the bullock, and of the blood of the goat, and put it upon the horns of the altar round about. And he shall sprinkle of the blood upon it with his finger seven times, and hallow it from the uncleanness of the children of Israel. To understand the four horns of the altar better, we must go to Revelation. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before God, saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. Here we see the voice from the four horns of the altar commanding that the four angels be loosed. We can find that these four angels are holding the four winds of strife till God's servants have been sealed. And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Now let's go back and examine whose voice this is that comes from the four horns of the altar. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door that the posts may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Here we find in Isaiah that it is the Lord that stands between the four horns of the altar. Now to understand the shaking of the doorposts, we must go to the book of Isaiah. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Here we see that the shaking of the doorposts have to do with the close of probation. Notice this last part. The house was filled with smoke. We can find this in Revelation in connection with the seven last plagues. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and no man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. At the beginning of the Day of Atonement, we saw that the prayers of the martyrs that had died asked God when their blood would be avenged. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? We can find that in the midst of the seven last plagues being poured out, that God avenges the blood of the martyrs. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and wast and shalt be, because thou hast judged thus. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. And I heard another out of the altar say, even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. 